everyone! How are you? I'm Andy and today I have the Allegiant book review. I wish I had the book to show you, but I don't because I read it on my e-reader. So I don't have the actual book to show you guys, but I'm still very excited to do this review because it was a good, good, great, amazing, awesome book. Alright, so if you guys don't know or haven't heard, Di Allegiant is the very last book in the Divergent series. And if you have not read Divergent or seen the movie Divergent, I suggest... Why, why, why are you even watching this video? You need, you need to go and read Divergent. And then insert it, and then we can talk about Allegiant. <laughs> anyway, so for my um, review without any spoilers, I'm gonna tell you guys that it was a really good book. I think that book had the perfect, well not perfect, because it didn't make me sad, but it had a really awesome ending. And um, it was a good book. It was, I don't even, I can't, you just have to read it. If you are currently starting to read Divergent, or you're thinking about reading the series, do, do not, do not even, don't even doubt it. Because it's great, awesome, much, much more better than the Hunger Games series, I can assure you that. Much, much more better. So yeah, great book, I loved it, I couldn't put it down. I read in about a week, I just, I couldn't put it down. I had to keep on reading and yeah all right <laughs> okay so now for everybody who has not read Allegiant or doesn't want to be spoiled I am going to go into my discussion on this book so you should leave now if you don't want me to ruin it for you and if you I think you should discover this on your own and you should not be watching videos that tell you what's gonna happen in that book so yeah, leave now, go away, unless you read it already then, stay. Alright, so the book, Allegiant, starts right where Insurgent left off. Four, well not right off, but Four is kind of united with his mom. And Tris is kind of like in a cell. She's going to be on trial to see if she was, um... Force mom's enemy, and then they give her truth serum. She, of course, she can say whatever she wants when she's under the truth serum. And yeah, and then they escape. Four helps them. They es escape with Tori, Joanna, Uriah, Christina, and then Four and Tris. And they leave. And then the, while they're leaving, I was like, Ah, they're gonna leave. What are they doing? Toy dies. Jo I was so sad. She, I mean, I guess I figured she wasn't gonna last, but I kind of wanted her to last a little bit longer. That was really sad. So, yeah. Hmm. And then Joanna goes back, and then four Uriah, Christina, and Tris, they find themselves outside the wall or fence this ginormous thing they find themselves out and then they get rescued by these people and turns out Amar which is Four's um instructor is there and Four's like I thought you died what are you doing here and if if you've only read Insurgent and Divergent you we don't really know who Amar really was so he's a character that gets introduced in this book and then they leave they, they they get taken to this facility which is an airport I guess in Illinois and um they get taken there they they find out that they're really an experiment that this government that exists outside of the of them is really experimenting with them trying to get them to be all of them to be divergent because being divergent means that your genes are cured and not being divergent according to this government 
Not being divergent means that your genes are damaged. And that made me really angry because they tell Four that he's not really divergent. I was like, of course, who cares if you're not divergent? And he goes on this rampage. He gets angry because he's damaged and he's upset. And Tris is trying to like, hey, calm down. You're fine. You're still four. This is not going to change who you are. And he's still like, it's like, why? Why? So, well, while they're there, they meet um, Matthew, Nita, and David which are um, some of the characters that are introduced while they're there. They also meet George, who is, I believe, he's Tori's brother. I can't remember very well. And then Amar, which is Force instructor who apparently died because he was divergent. And then this new society, people that are divergent are at the top. And people that are not divergent are at the bottom. So the genetically damaged are low, you know? They're not seen as high as they would see the divergent community, which are the genetically pure. And that is really upsetting because, you know, you would think everybody should be seen equally. Oh, I forgot to mention Caleb goes on that trip too. He's there with everybody. So, oh, Caleb. Don't even get me started with him. He... The minute I knew that he was being taken with them, I, mm, mm, no, I just, why do you bring him? He tried to kill Chris. Ugh, that made me upset. Yes, you can probably tell, but yeah, I, I was like, something's not gonna go right. Caleb's there, no. He betrayed everybody. I mean, I learned to love his character, but he was a traitor. He just... He cared about his own self, and he didn't care about anyone else, and uh, it just made me angry. So then, while Four is in his rampage, being all upset because he's genetically damaged, and he's not divergent, he hangs out with this Nita girl, and don't even get me started on the jealousy from Tris right there. Because that's the thing, that's the thing that the writing hints towards. It's like, Tris and Four are okay are they gonna be okay and then all of a sudden this nina girl comes on <sighs> this nina girl comes on and you see this connection that she's trying to make between herself and four and you're thinking this chick is trying to take four away from tris what, what's going on someone explain that to me turns out she was just using four so that he can disable security so she can blow up the compound or the facility whatever it is not blow it up but she wanted to kill everybody with this dead serum and while this attempt is going on Uriah goes into a coma yep he goes into a coma because of four well not because of four because of Nita but still four ugh, why did he make those choices I mean why I want to add something to what I said at the beginning this book is told from both Triss's perspective and Force's perspective. And at the beginning, you start wondering, why is this happening? Why? I'm like, I liked it from the point of view of Triss. And then all of a sudden, we are reading Force's thoughts. And I'm like, that's weird. And of course, anyway. So they blow that up, and then they find out that this government thing really was the one that gave Janine the weapons and the stuff so that she can kill um, abnegation because they rather sacrifice that whole thing to keep the factions together than help them out and that's so that makes Tris and Four and everybody really upset at this new government and they decide that they want to erase their memories because of what they think about the genetically damaged and genetically pure so then that happens <sighs> they end up the last couple of chapters go so fast. They just, they just flew. I was like, no, stop it. Go slower. It just, they just, they made me angry. Very honestly, I didn't want to believe it when I found out what happened. And I don't want to tell you. I mean, I do want to tell you, but. 
please, please, if you're still watching this and you haven't read the book and you're holding out, don't continue to watch. Because this is going to break everything for you. And I still don't believe it. It's still hurting inside. The death of Triss. Just unbelievable. Why? I was, I was, that just killed me inside. And it was all Caleb's fault. Ugh! If Caleb hadn't been there, she wouldn't have been put in that situation where she wanted to save his life. That wouldn't have happened. And then someone else could have volunteered to go get themselves blown up instead. I mean, but then again, she probably would have volunteered for anybody, didn't matter who it was. But, ugh, oh, it's just so sad. I was crying. Two days straight, I just cried and cried. Why wouldn't she do this? Why, why? And, well, that. She does that, the way she gets killed, she goes into, to get the, the memory serum into, uh, the weapons lab or the, I don't know, some sort of lab. And she goes in, and Caleb was the one that was originally gonna go. They were gonna blow up the wall. And then, by blowing up the wall, they were gonna release death serum. Which, she, she has a theory that she is, um, is... Um, immune to the death serum and she can like just as the um, chewed serum she can you know you know what I'm talking about I can't I can't put words on it I'm so upset right now and well she goes in survives the death serum and then she gets shot she dies when she gets shot and the scene when she dies is kind of sweet kind of nice she dies and she says that while she's dying she sees her mom and then she tells her so this is how the her she dies am i done yet she says she asks her mom because she's seen her and her mom says my dear child you've done so well and she's like what about the the others tobias caleb my friends they'll take care of each other the mom um natalie I think that's her name, yeah. Natalie says, they'll take care of each other. That's what people do. I smile and close my eyes. I feel the thread tugging me again, but this time I know that it is, that it isn't some sign, it isn't some sinister force dragging me towards death. This time I know it's my mother's hand drawing me into her arms. And I go gladly into her embrace. Can I be forgiven for all I've done to get here? I want to be, I can, and I believe it. So, at this point, I'm reading, and I'm reading, at this point, I'm reading, and I'm like, no, no, she's going to come back. She's, she, she's not dead. She's going to a coma. She's alive. And then I believe it once Tobias goes in and sees her body, and that's just sad. I just broke down at that moment. I was like, no, this can't be possible. Ugh. Honestly, I would have much rather had Caleb die. It would have been so much better. But I guess I have to be happy towards the author for doing such a crazy thing. Because it just, I don't know, it's something. This book is going to be stuck in my head forever. I can assure you that. And that's because of the ending she chose for it. So, yeah. Oh my god, I just got to stop now. <gasps> That was the best book ever, you guys. Seriously. I, I really loved it. Um, great writing. The entire series of Divergent. It was just amazing. I didn't... I was just happy. Just an amazing book. And I'm gonna stop now and I'm gonna go cry. Because of Tris. Go. Thank you for watching, guys. See you guys later. Bye.